Adventurous mom packs up and leaves her life behind to travel the world with her kids. Everybody dreams of traveling the globe, but it isn't always the easiest thing to accomplish. Very often, everyday practicalities like our jobs and other responsibilities get in the way of these plans, which is why travelers are usually single, younger, and less encumbered people. But that's not always the case. When Wanderlust struck the mother of two, she had no idea how to fulfill her dream of exploring the world with bills, young children, and a mortgage in the way. Then she realized those were the reasons that she and her family needed to go, and fast. In 2017, Gillian McRobbie may have seemed like an ordinary woman. She was living in Dundee, Scotland with her fiancé, two young daughters, and her job as a nanny. Only those closest to her knew that she longed for something more. At only 18 years of age, Gillian moved to Germany, where she worked as an army medic. Afterwards, she completed a tour of Europe. She went on to buy a round-the-world ticket to Southeast Asia, Australia, New Zealand, and the Pacific before backpacking across the USA from coast to coast. Upon her return to Scotland, Gillian met Andrew, the love of her life. They eventually settled down, bought a house together, and ended up having two daughters, Ilsa and Maddie. Despite having a beautiful family, Gillian felt restless. After several years of living day to day and taking care of children, Gillian began to grow tired of her life. Andrew, a private security contractor, was often away on business for months at a time and was missing out on his daughter's growth. Something had to change. That was when Gillian had an epiphany. Who needs all these material, trivial things when there's a whole world out there full of adventures and opportunities to learn? Why should they live an ordinary life just because it's expected or convenient? She shared her feelings with her husband, and to her relief, he agreed. So they devised a plan. They would put their house on the market. Gillian would take up nursing to make more money, then they'd save every penny, and eventually, Andrew would take a break from his job so the family could travel. There will always be jobs to do and houses to buy when we get back, so why wait? The family began shopping at charity stores, avoided eating out, and used cashback apps on most of their other purchases. Their home ended up selling for £170,000, or $215,000, and Gillian became certified to homeschool the girls. Gillian, 33, said, Taking a big trip with my children is something I've always wanted to do, even before I had kids. The whole point is to prepare our kids to live in the big, wide world when they become adults. But how can you do that when most of their time is spent at a desk stuck between four walls? The family started their adventures off close to home, camping around Scotland to see the sights of their own country before continuing to further borders. Then they set off to Portugal, Iceland, Bosnia, and Herzegovina, Montenegro, Croatia, and Costa Rica. Despite all their savings, the family planned to stretch their budget over a year, so they tried to keep the travel costs to a minimum. They stayed at Airbnbs, budget hotels, or even house sat for free for people on vacation themselves. We always traveled in the cheapest and safest way possible. In Costa Rica, we used local buses, but in some places that wasn't recommended. So we organized private transport instead, she added. To her and Andrew, the budget was important, but safety was too. After all, visiting places you've never been before is not without risk. You need to be vaccinated, take the safest routes, stick together, avoid walking at night, and be knowledgeable of local dangers. But being prepared for danger didn't mean that Gillian and her family weren't always savoring every minute. Bad things happen everywhere in the world, every day, so you cannot live your life in fear, Gillian added. The other issue they faced was criticism from people back home, people they met on their travels, and people online. What about the girls' education, they wondered. Surely with all their adventures, there was not enough time for Gillian to sit down with her daughters for 30-plus hours per week. 
In response to these questions, Gillian explained that not every lesson has to be learned sitting down to the book. She taught Isla math through groceries, PE through swimming and hiking, geography through maps, and languages through travel itself. The explorers moved rather slowly for people who wanted to see a lot of the world, but for good reason. Things can get a bit overwhelming at times, what with new places, heat, noise, smells, traffic, and so on. So if you do one thing a day, it gives you plenty of opportunity to take it slowly at the kid's pace. It seems the critics were not only concerned about their daughter's education, but also about their lack of stability. I've been told in the past to come back down to reality and give the girls a routine, but I don't agree. We're lucky that this is our reality and the girls are thriving. Gillian and Andrew plan to continue their travels until October 2019, with Mexico, Belize, and the U.S. remaining on the calendar year. Then they would finally move back home, pick up their jobs, and possibly begin saving for the next big adventure. Even after returning to Scotland, Gillian hopes to keep homeschooling both of her daughters, not only to avoid difficult transitions with school, but also because she believed that some ways to learn are better than others. She wanted to keep taking them on smaller trips across the UK. While it may not be for everyone, this family found a way in which they could love to live their lives. Traveling also takes you out of your comfort zone, Gillian said, and teaches you problem-solving resilience and tolerance and kindness for the world around you and its differences.